Do you read the sign? It says stop. Oh my gosh. This is booth 36 and we are going to stop and we're going to take a little booth tour. I want to show you some things that my vendors have for sale throughout the mall. Um, this one's actually work in progress. They just put in some new shelving and things. And so I'm going to take you on a tour and uh, let you see what's going on. So first here we have this old coloring book. You can see it is made... By them, and I mean, it's just beautiful. Even if you just hung this in a fr put it in a frame, $10, a 1944 Greer Carson coloring book. Like, I just think that is beautiful. If I had a free hand, I would open it up and see what it looks like in there. Um, here they have John Kirshner's Tavern. I'm probably from Freeburg, Illinois. It looks like an old calendar top how they used to have the calendars hang down but still the graphics are beautiful so and look at the phone numbers back when they had like three digit phone numbers so that was a little bit before my time so anyway i'm gonna hang this one back up and then here we got this super cool 1931 drugstore calendar i mean that is just it's not in the best shape but that is too cool especially if you could frame it and look here, they put like morning star information on there. Oh, and here for disagreeable, windy, rain. Like, how did they predict that back then? Look, on the 28th, moderate. That's just, I don't know. That is cool. Uh, we have a little oil can, which we did pretty good. More with the thumb ones, but we did pretty good with oil cans throughout the mall. Here's some old train stuff. And train stuff always does well. The thing with trains is there's so much to know about them, so many different scales, so many different types. So this one's 25 for this engine. So you just never know. This one, they have a whole box for $80. And it says it's Lionel Train Engine 239 plus two cars and tracks. So wow, this feels like cast iron. And then some track pieces. We have a baggie here. For $22 and it has it's like some old buttons and keys and look at that old safety pin. That is too cool. I don't know what that is. It's like Mickey. Let's pop. So there's like some fun stuff. This would be like a um, surprise box. Yeah. So that would be a fun thing to do. Here is a flashing red light. United Press International Metal Sign. It looks old. I don't know how much they have on that. $14. Then we got some tools down here. We got a vice. I don't know. The Colombian vice. A funnel. This is a cool little, looks like a very old sewing machine. Let's see, what do they say? 1946 Gateway. Yeah, so look, I could probably operate this kind because it doesn't look so high-tech for me. I don't know. It's on my bucket list to learn to sew. This jar of Golden Hover Star with Missouri sales tax tokens. Isn't that interesting? Wish the state would take tokens for my sales tax. Um, we got bundles of license plates. So license plates usually do really well. This is a little one. I used to have one like this on my bicycle as a kid, but obviously not from 1959 and not from Iowa. $10. We got an ammo box, which ammo boxes have been really hot lately. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see some of the stuff down here. Tools, this cow, unique shaped cowbell. Look how it was forged together. That's interesting. And that is $20. So, these here, the vendor's friend makes these out of different tin cans. And they're super cute. There's Marilyn and a sign. Should a Cardinals one because we're close to St. Louis. There's a blues one. And then there is a red, white, and blue one back there with a the heart. There is a denim St. Louis Cardinals championship. I think it says 2006 on it. And then we have a collection of little M&M dispensers. 
So every once in a while we have somebody comes through that is a huge M&M collector. I should make sure that the prices are showing. He's 12. These are 30. This is a fun little Peter Pan jar. Look at the graphics on there. That is just cool. And then inside, looks like there's some kind of tokens, five cent tokens for something in there. Anyway, that's $20. This is a cast iron Coca-Cola metal drawn carriage. It's missing the driver and all the little things of Coke bottles. It's 75. Um, cute. Uh, old farmer's almanac. The little garden sign. Move this here. Sorry about that. A neat Texaco truck. Like a fire truck. And a little tiny buddy. A cute poo topper. If my niece was a little bit younger, I'd be getting her that because she loves Winnie the Pooh. She's only three, but I think she's too old for that. A little Snoopy. And then there's some Mickey Mouse guys down here. Vintage ones too. And then this really cool red fire truck with a ladder. Fire trucks usually do well. Around here anyway. And this cute little all roads, roads lead home. And cast iron is something else that does really well. This is just a rolling pin. This is a huge oval see what does it say the 17 inch cast iron roaster and then you know skillets it's a fun set yeah and there's you know these corn roll cast iron pans it was funny we sell these randomly this is a griswold corn stick pan 50 bucks um, we sell more non Griswold ones, like from twelve to twenty dollars. Yeah, like this one's twelve. But a lady was in yesterday and said that someone had made brownies in these, and then the kids wouldn't eat them because they thought they were, you know, something that needs to be in the toilet. I got oh geez, who would do stuff like that? I don't bake or cook, so I'm safe. Um, cast iron Turk head muffin pan number 12. Like, I am 15 inch cast iron skillet. I'm not very much help when it comes to kitchen stuff. I like, actually, I feel like I have, so I tore the tag off, a 10 inch cast iron skillet. This is super cute, little tiny, it's like ashtray, a Griswold 570 ashtray, it is, oh, it is marked on there, hmm, interesting, a Wagner skillet, so like, a, we sell a lot of cast iron, people love them some cast iron. I don't know. I don't like to cook or bake, but I definitely don't want to have to carry this sucker and do carrying weights while I'm trying to cook if I did cook. Anyway, here is this. A uh, little washboard. This pressed aluminum stuff. This is like cute now that's more my speed if I did kitchen stuff I definitely would want aluminum lightweight this is so cute a revere double wear boiler and I think she told me that when this actually gets ready that either steam comes out of the little duck's mouth or it chirps or does something um, she has a brand new six quart pressure cooker little angel hammered pot we also sell a lot of cheese boxes, this little cast iron stove set. I think everything is removable on it. There's a Hummel plate back there. Um, there is a King Cutter uh, 
so a St. Louis telephone, little tiny one because you can see it's only about that big. Um, eagle statues do pretty good. Looks like a very vintage, cute, unique birdhouse, like with a lot of little details to it. This is cool. The Slanford Petroleum Jello, Jelly, Jello, Jelly, with some in there still. Five dollars. Anyway, I totally love these. Let me back up here a minute. These wicker um, cabinets. They're huge. Like, see, I'm like five one, and I don't know. I think they might be six and a half foot tall. But anyway, I just think they're great. She has $160 a cabinet on them, and she has this one and then this one here with the three drawers in it. And she has this cute little, I think it's a peanut dispenser. Super cute. And this Miller beer sign. And then this old, isn't that interesting? Old Falstaff keg interesting here's some campbell items campbell soup cute little wooden box that looks like it does something i don't know from mother 1937 hmm. oh a cigarette dispenser hmm. how many mothers give their kids that I guess in 1937 it was a big deal, maybe. Um, there you go. Nowadays you'd be in big, big trouble for doing that, I'm sure. A Coke. A cola sign. Coke stuff. Coke tray. A Bugs Bunny cookie jar. And then we get down there to the corning ware. We do pretty good with corning ware stuff as well. There's a Last Supper. Last plate and a casserole dish. There's a few signs and no parking. A south. It's cute. There's a picture. Baseball picture. There's a bears only. So a little bit of everything. Go up here. This really nice fall staff cooler. A stop sign. Let me scroll up. There are some Marilyn Monroe pics framed up there. And just kind of going along here. Typewriters are interesting. Kids are always fascinated when they come in here, no matter how old the typewriter is. They're just fascinated. They have to press the buttons. They can't help themselves. Some adults can't help themselves. Well, a lot of adults can't help themselves, but it's just, it's super cool. And I've sold typewriters anywhere from $6 to $300. So it's amazing um, what typewriters go for. This Camel Cigarette display and I think she's selling all this stuff separately um some old wooden fishing lures which they're hit and miss you know and then this cute fisherman's coat rack a beer mirror no a beer sign and a there's a liqueur mirror cute farmhouse type and a farm Wind chime looks like of a John Deere, maybe. Um, this is a cute love a beer because looks like maybe it's from the 70s, 60, 70s. And then I'm just gonna turn around a minute here, and she has some old irons. And this is a very cool daisy churn, very interesting wood base. This is a really neat metal basket. Let's see, what does it say? Peevely Dairy Metal Crate. She has some really interesting comics from the 40s and maybe it's 47. Maybe different eras. Oh, look at this. That is 244. That is super cool. Graphics. Roy Rogers and Trigger. I don't even know if kids of today know who Roy Rogers is. And then our gang comics. It's just amazing how times have changed so drastically. Not necessarily for the better, I'd say. Um, this is a really cool school desk. The seat here folds up. But she has all these purses on there. And then a cute little wagon. And then I'm going to go here to these. I don't know if a lot of people know what these are. 
let's see, she called them old shoe last seven pieces. I don't know. But they're cast for um, shoes and the inserts. And so these are all interchangeable on here. So I was at an auction years ago and this like 90 year old guy told me, gosh, I was like right out of high school and he told me what they were and I was so impressed um, because I didn't know they anchor them down and then that's what they use to put like the leather soles and stuff on the bottom of the shoes when shoes were made extraordinary versus now. We have this 1961 Monopoly game, some baseball mitts, dishes, metal ship, cap gun and holsters, Winchester items, horse plaque. This is a reproduction of a Thomas Collector radio. Um, I think these are coal miner lamps. They used to... Miners fuel head... Yeah, so I think they used to put these on their hats. Can you imagine having that filled with whatever kerosene or whatever gas they used and that was your light going down in the coal mines? Yeah, I can't even imagine that. Jar marbles. And then we have some... But always are beer signs. Unfortunately, their depreciation's really, or the value of them's really depreciated. But this really cool bubble gum machine. And they have this giant cast iron dinner bell, which I love. And then there is a Lionel, a more modern 36 piece train. Brand new pair of Bonanza men's shoes. And then that Coke pitcher. So. That sums up our tour as of right now for our booth 36. I hope you enjoyed taking a little tour, seeing what people sell, what the going rates are in our antique mall. And it varies. Sometimes you can get these things for more online and sometimes you can get them for less. And each region and market is always different. So it's kind of fun to shop elsewhere and just see what the going trend and rates are. So till next time, stay awesome.